It was round about then that I started getting these shooting pains in my shoulder. I went to the doctor. He said it was growing pains. Bloody balmy, I'd stopped growing years ago. Hadn't I? Anyway, I got a second opinion from Gordon. He reckoned it was a touch of lumbago from being on the moat bed in the rain during page nine. Bedford Square to Sussex Square. Porchester Square to Prince's Gate. Berkeley Street to Battersea Dog Zone. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Normal people can tell time's gone by from what's happening in the world. Like, uh, Elvis Presley dies. Or the Ayatollah Duda shouts the odds about something. Or Argentina win the World Cup. Things like that. Or from what's happening to yourself. Like, uh, for instance, if a bird slips up with a bloke one night, well, she'll know when she has the nipper nine months have passed, right? Now, with knowledge boys, it's different. They only tell time's gone by from clocking when roadworks start in Camden High Street to when they finish, or a new roundabout in Fulham Palace Road or somewhere. Things like that. All knowledge boys know about Elvis dying is there was a show about him at the Astoria Theatre Charing Cross Road. And what's the quickest way to get there from the Hilton Hotel? Did you put that in uh, Belgrave Square? Yeah. Speaking of this society, yeah. yeah. Um. Mr. Matthews? What's what, Sid? Um, you know, where'd you call it? Um, uh, Maltesers. Um, what? Uh, not Maltesers. Um, licorice all sorts. Um, what? Uh, licorice all sorts. Bassets. Barretts. Barretts of Wimpole Street, that's it. Left Wimpole Street. I beg your pardon. Uh, left Wimpole Street. Licorice all sorts is Wimpole Street. It's a word association, that's the way I remember it, to uh, make it easier. Easier? Uh, to remember. I was 18 numbers off winning a premium bond last week, 50,000 quid. I thought I'd blocked it from my mind, but I haven't. Churches. He asked me about churches. Make peace. Listen, I'll see you. Good yeah, luck. Cheers. He sits there asking me Westminster Cathedral to St Paul's Cathedral like some kind of religious maniac. I sit there like a bloody Toby jug saying nothing. Next appearance, 56 days, as per bloody usual. If only he'd asked me Piccadilly Circus to Piccadilly Circus, do me a favour. How'd you get on? Half ah, three right, three wrong. Next appearance, 28 days again. Oh, can't be bad. Just fancy a cup of tea. Why not? If you can't drown your sorrows, you might as well take them for a paddle. Hey, Chris! Gordon! Hey! He's done it! Never. He has! He's got his sodding green badge! <laughs> Made in Hong Kong. Forward Ping Pong Street, left Chop Suey Street, right What's It Street. Prawn balls. That's a minute, eh? It's still warm. Well, somebody say Mazeltov. Uh, Mazeltov. Thank you. Well, I don't even know what it means. Hey, sod the tea. Come on, they're open. Who are? What do you mean, who are? What's Jewish for champagne? I don't drink. You stand there, a little fellow with big earlobes, you pass the knowledge in 14 months. 13 and three quarters. 13 and three quarters. And you're telling me you don't drink? <laughs> Listen. What do you want? I'm a Yiddish boy. God, yes. Women, certainly. Drinking one small egg flip at Christmas. Tops. You got any money on you? Uh, three quid, but I need a... Come on, hand it over. I've got 11. That's 14 quid's worth of champagne. I don't drink! It's Christmas, cabby. <laughs> Ain't seen my mates, have you? Must still be doing their appearances, I expect. They said, you grab a table, we'll follow you on, have a cup of tea, bit of a chat. 
half an hour ago, that was. More. They say forgotten. Would hardly do that, would they? Mates and that. They'd have noticed I'm not with them. Sometimes people don't notice when I am. I said, sometimes people don't notice me when I am. a little wobbly on our bikes. Knowledge boys, it's traditional. I was a knowledge boy until three hours ago. You ought to have more sense then, oughtn't you, sir? Uh, that's where I got my green badge. Well, two and a half hours, say. I'm a cabbie now. You want a bet? What do you mean? Blow into this bag if you don't mind, sir. Look, are you in love with him or something? I mean, just say the word, he can have all my brochures, dining room furniture, table lamps, music centre, the lot. It started the same day I did, Janet. How'd you feel if all my grafting was for nothing? It might be, yet. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Look, he's not dead, is he, for God's sake? Fair enough, so he buggered up his knowledge. He's still got home, though, hasn't he? And a wife and a kid and a job. Thanks again. Look, I can't help the word job creeping up into the conversation every now and then. It's a word. He's had it now, at this time next year. Carriage office won't review his case till then. He's got it! He's got his licence! He had his green badge in his hand! Oh, he's a genius at the knowledge with Ted Margolis. I won't ever know. You didn't look all that heartbroken at first. What do you mean? When you heard he'd been nicked. I don't know what you're hinting. It, you mean I was chuffed or something? Look, you're out with me now, all right? Once in a blue moon, we're out together, and that's now. We're not calling over runs, we're not listing points, and we're not spending all night in the loo because you have an appearance tomorrow. We're doing other things, all right? I was bloody choked when I heard. All right, forget it. It was me, mate. Chris, I'm not going into mourning over Ted Margolis. So he's had it for another 12 months. He'll still be a cabbie before you will. It's only the knowledge, Chris. What do you mean? It's not real life, is it? I don't understand what you're saying. It's like a bloody illness with you, isn't it? A mental illness. Streets and streets and streets and squares and roundabouts to comply. Names and names. And what are you at the end of it? A cabbie? Well, then! What well, then? A cabbie! I'll be a cabbie! That's right, Chris. Not a bank manager, you notice. Not a doctor or an architect or something. A bloody tapney apney cabbie! I don't know. You 
never do know, do you, Mr. Weller? I know one thing, Your Highness. Now, be careful, Weller. I know you've been getting up my nostril ever since the day I met you. As a consequence, any minute, Your Majesty, you're going to get my fist up yours. I think it's safe to say that you are officially off the knowledge as from now. Goodbye, Mr. Weller. I come here every two months. Yes, Saib. No, Saib. Who do you think you are? I'm a grown bloody man. At least I thought I was before I came into this torture chamber. Do you know something? I've shrunk three inches in height. Straight up, I've measured myself. I sit here like red rotten riding hood, scared to open my mouth, while you're shouting and bawling, needling, whispering, cracking on your deaf, scratching your backside. You don't want us to pass. You do everything you can to stop us. You're driving me bloody cocoa, mate. I used to be a smart fella. Birds used to give me the eye in Selfridges. Now I wake up in the middle of the night, my belly's shaking. Mr. Weller. One more poncy insult from you and you go on a chartered flight through that window. Mr. Weller, has it ever crossed your mind? Why? Why what? There are two things a cabbie has to know. One is the knowledge, and the other is people. Because it's people who ride in cabs. And people are a very peculiar form of life. Compared with people, the knowledge is a piece of marzipan. They mumble, they can't hear you, they don't know where they want to go to. They get up both your nostrils. They treat you like rubbish. They spend their lives doing it to each other. In a cab, they do it to you. And I have to find out if that bothers you at all, because if it does, then you do it to them. You're no cabbie. Well, I think you've got your answer, darling. Shall I tear it up 